commitment to strengthen our relations by exploring new areas of cooperation for the mutual benefit of our two nations and peoples. In addition, we have agreed on the importance of establishing diplomatic consultation between our countries. I, re I repeat, we have agreed on the importance of establishing diplomatic consultations between our countries. This framework will enable our two governments to interact and hold a greater consultation or regular consultations on areas of mutual interest agreed upon. On trade and investment, we have noted with concern the low volume of our bilateral investment and trade, which is in 2022 stood at 4.2 US million US dollars. It is true that the trade between our countries remain marginal, but there is room for improvement and expansion. In this connection, we have registered our commitment to explore more opportunities, maximize our potential, as well as promote business and investments between our two countries. In another development, we discussed about the possibility of encouraging investors from Hungary to invest in strategic areas such as renewable energy, tourism, ICT and service delivery, mining, fisheries, manufacturing and finance. I wish to reiterate my government's commitment to render the necessary facilitation and assistance to the Hungarian business community wishing to invest in Tanzania. Dear members of the press, on education, Hungary has been an important partner to Tanzania, particularly in higher learning education. Together, we have been able to advance our cooperation through the Stipendium Hungarian Program, Hungaricum Program. It is in this context that I'm gratified that today we have witnessed the signing of an agreement intended to strengthen our cooperation in the education sector. This just signed agreement is coming with new approach of which Hungarians or students from Hungary will as well benefit on the scholarships coming to Tanzania and studying in our universities. So for this year, we're starting with five, while Hungary, they are taking about 30. So we are starting with five, and the number will keep on increasing. On behalf of the government and people of the United Republic of Tanzania, I wish to ex express our gratitude to Your Excellency, Katalin, the President of Hungary. Challenges and the solutions we find because our meetings give us the chance to learn from each other. We don't want to lecture the other, but we would like to share the good practices and also the bad experience. And we are both ready and open to learn from the other's example. Thank you so much, Samia, for this very open and sincere discussion. One of the main areas of our cooperation is education. Education is the key for our future. It's the same in Tanzania and it's the same in Hungary. And the possibility that we offer to Hungarian and Tanzanian young people is uh, to not only to learn and study in the other country, but also to get to know the people, to get to know the language, and uh, by that to give them the chance to better uh, or be more successful, I would say, in their respective countries. The Stipendium Hungarian program is a scholarship program fully financed by the Hungarian state. And there are 12,000 students from all around the world studying right now in Hungary due to this scholarship program. There are 90 countries being involved, among them Tanzania. And today's signature, today's agreement, uh, gives us the chance in the coming three years to offer scholarships for Tanzanian students to 
uh, study in Hungary on our costs. But today is a milestone because uh, the content of this cooperation changes. It becomes a mutual offering because uh, from today on, there will be also Hungarian students who can study on the expenses of Tanzania in Tanzania. And so they can also learn the language. They can also get 